Hi guys, in this video I will show you how to import your uh, digital planner for iPhone or uh, Samsung phone. So when you make your purchase, you will, you will get this download document. From this download document on this first page, you will see a couple of tabs here. So you will be able to choose if you would like first to use pink or cream phone planner. And also uh, after you download your planner, you can choose uh, to download your stickers. Uh, there are two sep separate uh, files for the stickers. One if you use GoodNotes on iPhone and the other if you use the planner uh, on a Samsung phone in Samsung Notes. And finally, here is a link to download the GoodNotes app uh, if you do not already have it installed on your iPhone. The GoodNotes app is uh, free to download from the App Store uh, and you can use it for free for, for the first three documents that you import. After that, you uh, have to make only a one-time purchase and it's really the best um, app for uh, digital planning. <coughs> Uh, taking notes, uh, etc. Uh, so uh, it's uh, of course uh, uh, very well worth it to uh, purchase the full version of the app. So first of all, let's for example choose uh, the pink phone planner and uh, here it will ask you if you have an iPhone or Samsung phone. Let's say here we have an iPhone and it will also ask you if you prefer to set up your reminders from this digital planner in Apple or, or Google Calendar. So um, my daily planners is the creator of first digital planners with links to uh, Apple and Google Calendar that enable you to easily set reminders from your digital planners uh, because digital planner templates are not apps and they don't have the possibility uh, to uh, create uh, reminders uh, that was uh, a very lacking uh, so uh, we uh, had an idea to uh, integrate the links within our planners so uh, most of our iPad planners also have this feature so from this digital planner as I will show uh, you in the separate walkthrough video you will see how you can set up these reminders directly from your uh, digital planner on iPhone uh, so for example let's say we will be using uh, the uh, Apple calendar version and uh, if you use uh, the digital planner with Apple calendar links you will be required to install a shortcut made by my daily planners uh, this does not apply to uh, Google Calendar version. It's a bit easier uh, to um, use, as you will see, but uh, this was the only way that we could make uh, these links work for the Apple Calendar. But it's not nothing uh, uh, complicated, just install the shortcut. So you will be taken to this page. Uh, the shortcut will load and you will able to set it up here you will choose the app of course uh, the phone planners come only in two formats for a good notes app on iphone and samsung notes on samsung phones simple reason is because uh, after extend extended um, uh, you know um, research and trying out various apps on uh, you know both iphone and android phones uh, we uh, came to a conclusion that for now only these two apps uh, give you you know full control and a great planning experience on a small device such as iPhone uh, so uh, good notes is already chosen here and you just need to click uh, add shortcut uh, I already have the shortcut installed on my iPhone so I won't be I won't have to do that uh, but before you install the shortcut you need to read these instructions here so you need to enable uh, some settings on your iPhone uh, just uh, only a moment before you install the shortcut and you can turn this setting off again so once you have installed the shortcut then you can uh, start downloading your planner so here you will be able to read um, the instructions on how to use the planner so when you click here you will have the instructions click here to step back and uh, also here uh, a video detailed video walkthrough of the planner will be linked 
so click here to download your planner. The planner is located on Dropbox and you don't have to uh, be a Dropbox, Dropbox user, you don't, you don't need an account, just click this X here and here are the planner files. So when you click any of these files and download, just wait a second and it will already ask you to open the planner in GoodNotes and you will be just click there and import into GoodNotes as a new document. In case this doesn't show for some reason on your uh, specific iPhone or device, maybe depending on the iOS, uh, you can, whenever you're opening any type of document on iPhone, just find this icon on iPads. Uh, it's usually in the top right corner on iPhones here. Uh, here it is this square with the arrow icon and when you click on it you can choose uh, how do you want to open the specific file in this case this is a GoodNotes file and we want to open it in GoodNotes uh, so let's just go back uh, for a second here so this is how the same way you will download uh, if you use the calendar with the Google the planner with the Google Calendar links but you will not be required to install uh, the shortcut because the links work uh, differently for Google Calendar. Uh, let's just go back to main menu and I will um, just um, show you how to import your stickers on an iPhone. So the stickers for iPhone are already in GoodNotes Elements format. If you are, are not uh, familiar with GoodNotes Elements, uh, Elements is a great GoodNotes feature that enables you to create and organize your stickers collections. So with this planner you will get the collection of over 400 matching stickers and they are already in this uh, GoodNotes Elements format. So when you click this uh, link uh, you will be taken to uh, the Dropbox. Uh, you can close this here or choose continue to website. You do not need to get the Dropbox app. So here click download. Okay. Or just close this. Ah, okay. So here is our stickers.collection file. And when you choose opening good notes, it's already imported all of the stickers as a new collection in good notes app. And all you have to do is click create. In this case, I will not do this because I already have these stickers. Uh, in my GoodNotes app. So when you click create, you will be able, uh, here we are in GoodNotes, uh, click here when you are in GoodNotes to see the tools. Here is the tool for GoodNotes elements. I can see here some recent stickers and down here are my stickers collections. I have a ton of them. Uh, also uh, here uh, we will go through this in detail uh, in the uh, walkthrough video but just shortly here are your tools in the notes app and if you wish to use the hyperlinks in the planner and to jump to specific uh, pages in the planner dates uh, like monthly weekly and daily pages just click this pencil icon again in the top right corner of course this is an iPhone we do not use a pencil but uh, this button in top right corner will let you switch between the read-only mode that enables using hyperlinks so like this if we click here we're on february and etc we will go through this later in the video in the other video and when we click it back on we will be able to see our tools and write in the planner at stickers etc so this is how you will import this uh, planner to your device once you import go back to the download document and watch the full walkthrough video uh, on how to use your uh, new uh, digital planner on iPhone in GoodNotes app. Thanks guys!